Along with your Bible, there are some simple but very helpful resources that will assist you in learning. These are simple tools, and some of them you may already have, and the others should be easy to find. A short list of basic resources includes a good dictionary, a concordance, a Bible dictionary, and a Bible atlas. Let's talk about each of these. Having a good dictionary is essential for any area of study, and when it comes to the Bible, there is no less of a need to look something up once in a while. College-level or encyclopedic dictionaries usually work best since these have higher numbers of entries and provide more detailed definitions. Many dictionaries at this level will provide historical information about words, their origins, and cover variations and usages that are not current. This is especially valuable for those using the King James Version of the Bible. Although this series is in English, the same would hold true for other languages as well. One of the most useful tools is a concordance. This lists words alphabetically and then provides references where they can be found in the Bible. There are many good concordances on the market, and they can be found in e-versions, pocket editions, and print. One thing to note about getting a concordance is to make sure that you get one compatible with your version of the Bible. Different versions change word usage, and terms found in one translation might not appear in another, making it difficult to locate what you need. A good Bible dictionary, such as Vine's Expository Dictionary, provides readers with the ability to look up a term and research the exact meaning from the original languages. This is a valuable aid in understanding why some words may have slightly different definitions in various passages when we see that the source language sometimes has multiple words for the same term that we use. An atlas of the Bible helps us visualize what's happening in the biblical narrative when we can see where events took place. Many atlases also provide cultural and archaeological information as well, which deepens our understanding of the scriptural narrative. There are also specialized Bible atlases that detail where certain events, such as battle, etc., took place. These can help the scriptures come alive as we see and understand that the places mentioned in the text are real and exist today. There are other resources that can be added as well, but aside from a notebook and something to write with, these will get you off to a good start. I mentioned that you may already have some of these resources. Most folks probably already have a dictionary and some of the other resources, but if you don't, they're easy to find. A good place to locate print copies will be used in discount bookstores. Public libraries also usually have these, and there are a number of free resources online that can be accessed as well. You won't have a problem locating these, and they'll make studying the Bible more enjoyable and productive. In our next video, we'll discuss tips for creating a study schedule.